My name is Javon Ladiki and this is the year 2525. What you are about to see is the result of years of research into time travel. I have discovered that I can change reality by taking the right people out of time to create a new reality which I, Javon Ladiki, am the one true empress of Earth. Watch and you will see my plan to change the world forever. Physics is so hard. I should have been a tailor. I would have liked to be a tailor. Who's there? Call out, you poor wounded souls. I'm here to help you. What a day. It's been so many glorious years since my great 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 granddaddy invaded this little island and conquered it completely. What a day. some such. If it were true, it would be clear what has happened. And that is that we've all been removed from our own time and placed in another. If this is true, we could be in any year, any century, from the beginning till the end of time. But such a thing would be sorcery. Not sorcery, young lady, but science. Ahem, <clears throat> young lady. For such insults, I shall have your head. Would anybody care for some tea? It's always the best thing I find, don't you? Why, um, uh... My name is Butterman. Quite apt, I should say. Of course, ma'am. Butler, do you know what's going on? The lady of the house will be with you soon, ma'am. Welcome. My name is Javan Ladiki and this is the year 2525. 
You have been summoned here today for one reason. You are here to be tested. You will each place your hands upon the globe. And if you are found to be worthy, you will live. But if you aren't found to be worthy, you will die. Escape is impossible. You will each remain here until you have completed this task. Good luck and may you all find yourselves worthy. Uh, what did the little lady say? She said we are to be tested, that we must place our hand upon the globe and it will decide whether we are to live or to die. That's what I thought she said. Do you think she's telling the truth? If I were to think this experience was real, I think she'd indeed be telling the truth. So, should we do as she asks? I mean, if there is no escape, what choice do we have? I'm with the old man. I think this is some kind of hijinks. I'm not sure I understand this word. Not I. However, perhaps we should decide who should be first to be tested. I believe the honour of such task should fall to a man of science. Sure, no problem. I'm thinking it can be one of those new Fangle TV shows. Well, I'm not going next. Well, it seems the first of you have failed to prove themselves worthy. The right is never wrong. Only those most brave, most worthy, most pure will pass the test. All others will face the same consequences as the American. If this truly the most worthy, you will be granted life. Then it is with no doubt that I will pass this test. For I am Queen Elizabeth of England, ruler of... Dear Lord, now we are two. It seems none of us will be worthy of this strange contraption. It must be I who faces the contraption, giving you a little bit more time as a man of science to find a way to defeat this. I shall not play your games, young lady. I shall not grip the instrument of death. I do not fear to die, but I at least demand you come out and stand before me face to face instead of hiding like a coward. So, old man, it seems that you are the last to die. Why are you doing this? Why are you testing us? And why are we unable to pass your ridiculous test? Would you like to know the truth? Of course. The truth is, there isn't a test. This piece of technology has been set to kill anybody who touches it. But why? Because you're all parts of history which need to be removed if the world is going to change in my favour. I don't understand. Let me try to explain. With history being what it is, I, Javan Ladeke, am a lonely cog in a giant machine which rules the earth. However, if I have altered history by taking new foreign people from it, then a new reality will form, which I, Javan Ladeke, am the Empress of Earth. So you see, I needed all of you to die. So there was never any chance of surviving? Well, there was one way, a simple way, if you actually knew what you were doing. See, all you had to do was flip the switch on the globe, thus reversing the polarity of the charge. Then you would have merely been stunned, quite harmless. Butler, please flip the switch on the globe to show our guests what happens. I don't understand what happened. 
The polarity was reversed from the beginning. I merely changed it just now, knowing Javan would take the bait. But the others? They're all five. But how? Why? It was my job to make sure Javan's plan never succeeded. Time and history are not playthings for the careless and corrupt. So we can go back home? Of course, if you would follow me. Why, thank you, butler. What you have seen, ladies and gentlemen, is a cautionary tale of what happens to those who attempt to pervert the course of time. Be under no illusions, we are always watching. My name is Lauren Butler, Officer 3135 of Universal Time Police. Good night. <laughs>